Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Chumash Casino Resort here in Santa Ynez, California. As this time, we present the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions, in association with the Santa Ynez Band of Chumash Indians and Showtime. This bout, once again, is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, who presents its officials, introducing our judges, scoring this bout from ringside, Marty Denkin. Dr. James Jenkin and David Mendoza and our third man in the ring. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Dr. Lou Moret. All right, fans, here we go with the Showbox main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a welterweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Chumash Casino Resort in Santa Ynez, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gray trim, he weighed in at 148 pounds. His record stands at 26 wins, two losses, with seven wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the 1996 Olympic bronze medalist from Trenton, New Jersey, introducing uh, Terrence the Heat. And his opponent across the ring on my left, riding out of the red corner in this 10 round main event, wearing gold trunks with black trim. He weighed in at 147 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 25 wins, no losses, 19 wins coming by way of knockout from Aiken, South Carolina. Please welcome the undefeated Paul, the Punisher, Williams. Once again, Dr. Lou Moret, our referee in charge, now to give instructions. Okay. Okay, let's keep them up. It's a little bit high, okay? But right in here is fine. Shake hands, wait the bell. Good luck. Oh, look at Coffin come out and unroll a looping right hand. Hand and Paul Williams knows he's in a fight here at least in the first five seconds. I love it, Steve. Wow, what a collision! And Williams answered with a chopping left. You know, they're worried about they're worried about Coffin that he lunges in with his right and leads with his head sometimes. But Coffin trying to get Williams' respect, attention, and maybe shock him a little bit. Coffin choosing to rumble stop, with stop, a much bigger stop, man with a KO record early. Yeah, we, we talked about stop. Coffin having to fight uncharacteristically to have a chance here. For 30 seconds anyway, he's certainly done that. Well, he's doing it, and Williams trying to find him whips a couple of times. Let's see if Williams can get his composure here. Williams trying to get dialed in here. He's in the goal. Okay, listen. One point. Bobby, no more. You understand? One point. Wow. Bobby. Lou Moret One in point. charge Bobby. from the get-go. No Let's go. Takes a point. A minute. Not necessary holding. A minute into the fight, Nick. That, that, that surprised me. Was there a formal Stop. warning? Stop. I've seen worse. 72. I'm going to disqualify Heck, I've seen fighters do that for 10 rounds and not, not get penalized. Here you go. Here you go. That does Stop. not bode well for Coffin. We've seen Mom, Coffin many holding. times. He does like to hold. Well, Williams getting mugged a little bit here. Stop. I, I, Nick, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that the deduction came that quickly. Let him go. Wait, wait, wait. They want Coffin to go to the body. But now it's Williams trying to get dialed in here and come forward. No, no, no. Stop holding. Rule the slip there correctly by... The referee looked red. Stop. Don't hit me on the head. These guys look like they're in the same weight class to you, Nick. <laughs> I mean, Williams looks like he's about three weight divisions bigger. Yeah, but you look, his legs are pretty thin before stop, you watch stop, him on stop, tape. And, stop. That's right. And he really That's puts right. punches together, but he has his way against guys. And Coffin, and Coffin has definitely stolen the rhythm of this fight, if nothing else. Stay upstairs. Don't put that overhand upstairs. Overhand upstairs. 
See, Hawkins does like to hold on the inside, Nick, and the, the irony in that is that against a fighter with Williams, is Nick Hawkins needs to work on the inside, not hold on the inside, but he's not an inside fighter. He definitely isn't. He spun off very nicely there, and now out of the clinch. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay. End of a fairly bizarre first <laughs> round here at Schumach. I like that word bizarre. That's exactly right. But Paul Williams said he had a feeling something would be up early with, against Terrence Coffin. I like that third person, Terrence, huh? Is that <laughs> another Terrence we don't know? But Coffin is a guy we're not used to seeing this way. I think Coffin looks like Deion Sanders a little bit, doesn't he? <laughs> They can move like him too characteristically. We usually see him one of his greatest traits. I hope he hits harder than Deion Sanders. <laughs> Please, no tackling. Exactly. We never worried about Deion with that one, did we? No, 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 no. Stop. Well, Williams turned pro in 2000. Big advantage for Cawthon there, but you see the bouts. Cawthon no, always goes in distance. Let That's him, why he scored 111 more rounds than. Paul Williams has had so many knockouts against uh, easy uh, opposition. The amateur, the amateur experience is the big difference. Coffin. At one point in '95, he was the national champion, not just an Olympic bronze medalist. Stop! Sloppy fight so far. Paul Williams undefeated, a little bit unnerved here. He's not able to solve Terrence Coffin, but Steve, you hit on it. He could make guys look terrible. Can go in there again. And Williams' punches are so long because of his long reach that Cawthon is able to actually step inside of him. So, in other words, you're saying he's really smothering a lot of and negating some of Williams' power. I always thought his great extension could make him so terribly a from the outside. Williams really didn't have to go to the wall. There's that Don't jump in it right it. hook Don't from hold Terrence Coffin. Stop. Uh, Coffin is, is forcing Dr. Lumaret's hand, and you know what? One of the reasons I don't like when referees take a point early in the fight is because it backs them right. They right. back themselves right. into right. a corner. Oh. And uh, a second deduction Stop. is followed by a DQ sometimes early in the fight. Stop. Stop. What do you think of Coffin's strategy, even in terms of the holding? I think he's trying to win, which is great. You know, he's not running. It's up to Williams to really stay on the outside more, so he can extend those arms. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. And I think Marat is it. You gotta stop holding. You gotta stop holding. Stop holding. Good body shot from Williams. Nice work as he backs off. Now let's see if he can dial in on that jab and start putting punches together. Look him up. Look him up. Stop. Stop. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. It's tough and doing some mugging here. Man, you work. You work. That's not bad. He's working with him. Here out. you go. Body, send that overhand. You ready to go. You ready to go. Work. What you doing? I don't want to take another point, but you're, you're not making it hard. All right, don't, don't grab me. You got to stop grabbing. Work. No, go. Let your hands go. Don't Sit there. Lean back, baby. Take a deep breath. Let your hands go. Yeah, let him go. You he can't take it. He, you got time to grab him? You, you see how he's stumbling? Right? He going to let him grab you and work. And work. Come on, you in shape, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is what we want. We got this. We got this. Come on. Let the combination go. Let's go. Right there. Then huh. huh. let it go. Right. Come on. Come on. Steve, Terrence Cawthon, Devin, if nothing else is unnerved, I would think uh, the unbeaten Paul Williams, he probably has never seen anything like this. He's getting controlled in a strange okay, stop. way. Stop. Maybe not a terribly effective way. 
<laughs> yeah, I agree. And what's interesting is that they're often fighting on characteristically, but he's getting inside for defensive reasons. Usually when you oh, have to get down. inside for offensive reasons. Terrence Coffin is a guy who almost never wants to be inside. Come on, Good strategy so Let's far get out of there. as he is taking away Paul Williams' punching run. And the other ugly of the fight, the better for Coffin. Dr. Lou Moret might not agree. <laughs> Coffin takes the lead with a jab stop, there as stop. Williams Hold failed to fire. Williams cracking nicely to the ribs there with that left. Now working behind the jab. Well, always good strategy to hit a good defensive side of the body. Williams is doing that. It's up to Williams to move those skinny legs to keep himself punched at the range he wants to be. This is not where he wants to be. Stop, 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 stops punching Michael Coffin, Matt. picks up the lead. Good body work by Williams. Effective and now a right hook to the head. So he's gotten Coffin's attention, and Coffin holds once more. Stop. Right. Let him go. Come on. Williams Williams. Trying to catch Coffin leaning in. Coffin's in the back of silver. Rob tired of holding. They exchange right hands. Williams trying to find his rhythm and being taken out of it once again as Coffin leaps into it. I can't believe this is Terrence Crawford or what? Hold it. I mean, he's been a people can call him. Stop it. Hey, hey. Wow, that, the look on Lou Moret's face has said it all. He's getting fed up with Crawford. I think the referee's been a little rough on Crawford personally. Not that Crawford hasn't been holding. But he got on his case awfully quickly in this fight. Stop. Right. Oh, man, Jeff. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right there. Oh, man. There you go. Come on. Right, stop. Steve, break, break. Again, Paul Williams undefeated, untested, very brief amateur career. So far, does he look uh, like he's handling this bit of adversity anyway, or is he just letting Coffin dictate too much? Well, you know what? I, I think his uh, demeanor has been very, he's been very calm. That's good. He hasn't let Coffin's workhouse tactics bother him. I think he's handling it relatively well, yes. Hey, that jab look good. Jab look good, that man. Right. Double up on him. You don't know what to do with that jab. Okay, listen. Deep, deep breath. Deep breath. Okay? Look, now you're getting in your rib. You're throwing that jab and you're standing on the outside like you're supposed to. This is action from round one. You see Carson grabbing. And it is Carson doing it, the holding hold here. It, hold it, hold it. He gets inside because he's safe inside. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, whoa. When I say stop, stop. And of course, in round one, Lou Moret took a point away. Well, that's blatant holding oh, there. Okay, listen. And now here comes the point. One point. Grab him. No more. You understand? One point. Grab him. One point. Grab him. Working out fine. Okay. That was the four and scheduled for ten. Paul Williams in the gold and black is undefeated. We talked about top of the show, the major test of his career, and so far it's been just that. Oh, Coffin whacking with that right hand. Stop, Mike. Crawford staying very busy here, and Williams unable to really dial in, get into the kind of flow he's used to. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Get out of there. Both these guys are lefties, but Coffin is a natural right-hander. Williams a natural left-hander. Maybe that's why Coffin's been a little more effective with the right hook. Come on, punch out More of a right-handed puncher. Could be. Stop, break. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. I don't like the hugging either, but boy, sometimes when you watch Coffin, it was... He was fighting from left field, it seemed, most of the fight. Stop! Stop! Keep going! 
So much closer quarters here, trying to take away Williams is punching room again and smothering on, some of that power. Stop! Stop! It's, it's a difficult, it's a difficult adjustment for Williams in this fight. He's used to coming forward despite his quick reach. This is a fight where he needs to back up occasionally to keep his reach effective. Oh, okay, absolutely! Stop. I agree with you. I just think he's so effective that way when he gets a full extension on his shots. He, I don't hold think he it, ever hold has it, to hold it. No wrestling! No wrestling! Come on, guys! Break, break. Let him go. Let him go. That's so sad. Break. That's so sad. Still sort of waiting. You know, Williams with 19 KOs. You just want to see once Coffin tastes a flush shot. But again, that's one of his admirable characteristics. He's difficult to nail cleanly. He is, and Williams has been more of a volume puncher. You know, 100 let him punches go, around let him time. Go, get up. That's not going to work against Coffin because you can't hit Coffin with 40 or 50 shots in the round. But you talked last fight, Nick, about Rolando Reyes being such a good judge of distance. That's what Williams has to learn, and you fight a Terrence Coffin, you're going to learn a lot. The trick is to win while you're learning. Good move there. You hold a little bit and crack to the ribs. On the blind side of the referee, boy, Lou Moretta is getting arm weary. <laughs> Nice combination from Williams there. Now I try to pass off, get that leverage, and get that distance. But it's Coffin trying to pull him for back. Get more combination, man. More combination. More combination. You got this. Winning that round. Work. Work. Listen. Now, going back to the body, I want to stay down in the body. I ain't that way you don't miss. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop it pretty soon. He the one holding. He's holding. Just listen to me. Okay. Don't hold. Hey, no more. Let the hands go. Right. Don't blow the fight like this. They want. They. 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 They trying to push chicken game. All right. Work. Let them hands go to the body. Come on. And keep the defense up. You put pressure on. He can't take that. He can't take that. Here. Let your hands go. I don't care. Come on. Coffin stranger at June Livingston like a kid got caught with his hand in the cookie jar as soon as Moret said I'm not kidding. Okay, don't hold. <laughs> He's not holding. Yes, he is. How can you not love a corner man nicknamed Junebug? <laughs> Here comes Williams opening up now. Trying to grab control of this fight and not let Coffin mug him. He's naturally the smaller guy. Again, Williams has fought as comfortably as a, as a middleweight. Yeah. At 160, and this is 147, a way to make easily. But clearly, as you said, Steve, the bigger guy, but certainly not asserting that superiority or strength, if it seems seemingly is the edge and strength. Very smart for Williams to keep going to the bottom. But he's got to be careful not to get countered. You do that by punching and moving your head or punching and moving your head right back into position so you can block shots. Oh, out of that clinch or semi clinch there, it was Coffin cracking nicely with the right hand. Good solid punch for him. We haven't seen Williams really connect. He's working, he's working to the body. That's really been probably his most effective work. Not surprisingly, Nice coffin. Stepping back very nicely. Just try to make Williams pay for any kind of a mistake. Williams doubling up with the force the left to the ribs and that type of cut that slices through. Williams leads with a couple of salvos to the ribs. 
Showbox comes your way in just two weeks with a doubleheader from Connecticut. On Showbox, the new generation. For today's hungriest young fighters, it all comes down to one moment. You gotta do the work. That is why you spar. That is why you sweat. That is why you work till it hurts. Now the moment is here. And four undefeated junior middleweights put the records on the line. Sakoo Powell versus Cornelius Bundridge and Yuri Foreman versus Kevin Cagle on Showbox the New Generation. Friday, May 6th at 11 p.m. Eastern Pacific, only on Showtime. Come on. Now, so, you know, so this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do now. Get back out there with that jab. Double jab, triple work. You're looking good in there working, okay? You got it. You're looking good. Cut that box. He gonna come. Get ready for the six. So halfway, how do you have it, Steve Farhood? 49-45, Paul Williams. I'm, I'm having trouble finding reasons to give Carth in some of these rounds. I think Williams' don't hold, body don't attack hold. has been the difference. Pretty good composure, as you said, too. So the young guy who's getting sort of roughed up. Hey, stop. Stop. I think that's his natural demeanor. He's a pretty cool kid. I met him for the first time uh, yesterday at right, a fighter stop, meeting. Stop. Very quiet, respectful. They want him to get on that jab, and he is here. And now moving a lot more, trying to keep it at a distance a little bit. Whacking that left once. Oh, no, three no. times. Stop leaning on here. Come on, Come Jack. Work. Terrence Cawthon. <laughs> that graphic says it all. Maybe Cawthon wants to just take Williams into the deep waters. He's been there. Williams really hasn't been. And you see Williams' knockouts. They've all come early. Trouble is, for Cawthon, he hasn't scored a knockout in four years. Stop. 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 Oh, it's a different story. Let him go. Let him go. Williams, middle of the ring. This is where he's much more effective. Oh, don't hit, don't hit me on the head. Room to work. Oh, man, Jam. Oh, man. coming in. Yeah, that was a nice right oh, uppercut. Stop. So, discouraging Coffin now. Let's see if anything changes. Coffin got hit probably as flush as he had in this entire fight. Well, isn't it strange, Nick, when you, if you're Coffin, you're fighting a guy with a seven-inch reach advantage, you have no trouble getting inside the whole fight. But you're not effective when you're inside, because you're either holding or resting or whatever. It's just not Coffin's game to, to be effective when he's on the inside. Come on, guys. Don't hold him. Let's stop grabbing But as we spoke about him before the fight, it's something he had to gamble to do. A little bit of a ball in there, close. Yeah, one problem, what we is going to have. We even saw this on the page, he's one of the limited opposition he's facing. He is very hitable when he's trading. And against a bigger guy, you know, that height, on neck and everything else can really work against him. He could get blacked out. Here, listen for the bell. 
take. You know, Coffin, he doesn't care about crowd. He cares about career, and that means winning his fight. I can't live and fight for the crowd. You know, I have to do what Terrence calls and do his best, you know. And whatever, whatever it takes to win the fight, and whatever I have to do to win. Just start, start, to start working that body. And let them shot go upstairs. Come on. Come on. You got this. Come on. You aggressive. So I want you to start letting them hands go. As you catch it, let it go. All right? Give me some combination. Yeah, come on. Start putting it down. Give me. Let's go, dog. Let's go. Put it down. Now, remember, he want to catch you with that hook. So you got to roll him. You got to roll him. He's let you get off now with your fury. And once you get off, he figure you're going to stop. And he's coming with that right hook. You got it. You got it. You got Well, this, this, this is, as we start round seven here, Nick, this, this is becoming uh, you know, two or three of the most important rounds of Crawford's career. He, he's got a difficult style. It's not usually a TV-friendly or fan-friendly style. He's trying to get a okay, in this fight. fight. How effective is it? Well, I don't think he's winning. Not getting hit very flush, but Williams is out working. Oh, no, don't hold, don't hold, let him go. If this he's decision goes out. against Coffin, where does he go? Yeah, where does he go? He, he's, he's 28, only 28, but 28 is not William. necessarily get done there. Come on. Punch him, get Williams out. came out a lot quicker, trying to put a lot more punches together. And Steve, for a guy here again, we saw at times like he was hitting a heavy bag, of course, at, or a sparring session, throw as much as many as 100 punches a lot. We haven't seen much of that. Part of that could be attributed to Coffin's holding, but Williams definitely trying to dictate here and push Coffin up a little more and get that jab working and start to worry. And I think he should do that. He hasn't been hurt. I don't think he... I, well, he's a little cautious of Coffin, but I don't think he respects his power. Yeah, and, and Williams has a puncher's mentality, which you think he'd have with 19 knockouts in 25 weeks. But that puncher's mentality might be hurting him here. He needs to use his legs to establish some distance. He's not doing enough of it. Gotta stop hugging. One more time. Take another point. Let's go. Well, I, I, I think, yeah, I think Coffin's lucky that he's gotten this far without a second point to duck this we're in seven. This could you end by DQ yet? We're not surprised. You know, uh, Williams looks a lot fresher now than Terrence Coffin. Five year difference in age, but he just does. Coffin's mouth is open a little bit more, Steve. Taking a few more punches. You are 100% right, and there's another fact, and that's that Williams is a former middleweight and Coffin's a, a junior welter, and all the inside wrestling definitely works to Williams' advantage in the long run in terms of fatigue. And as you point out, the body punches as well, maybe you start to take those legs away. Steve, what can Coffin do differently? I think he's behind on the cards. This fight is getting late. Well, the right hook of Coffin is the punch Williams is pouring as Rush Peterson is worried about. He's got to get inside, keep his hands free, and then he kind of with the right hook. Williams unable to connect cleanly. Not 
They want more punching out of uh, and more, more nominations to our teams than it does from Paul Williams. But especially when it's off that jab to set off that hook and short it up. And he's doing exactly that. Very nice. Very nice. Walking straight ahead. Come on, Come on, you feel it, let it go. Come on, Come on. Let it go. 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 He's a little bit short of all the shots, and I was talking of going back, and he didn't have any to run over the body. Williams is uppercut there. Get the damn out of there, William. Progresses, and I think you're going to see more boxing, fewer knockouts. 
decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, David Mendoza scores the bout 98 to 91. Judges Marty Dangan and Dr. James Jen Kim both score the bout the same, 100 to 89. All three in favor of the winner and still undefeated.